All right, all right. Do good. <laughs> Thank you. So, Mom and Dad, they said when there's no love, it's hard to stay married. But they said not to worry, because they would love me no matter what. So I told them. It's okay if they get divorced. It must be hard to live with someone you don't love. Hey, so I have to choose if I want to live with mom or dad. Who do you think I should pick? Senpai, 
me. Is it all right if I rest a bit? Yes. Um, I wanted to apologize for causing so much trouble, making everyone worry about me. Shouldn't we apologize to the team, not just us? I lost something very precious, but in exchange, I gained something just as important. That's why I think I'll be all right on my own now. Thank you for bringing me along today. <laughs> oh, there you are. I guess it's about time. Huh? Looks like Koromaru's got something. Wonder what this is. I'm curious where it came from, but it's getting late. We should head back. All right. This time, I'm not gonna lose. Let's go, Koromaru. detected a gaze upon us for an estimated seven minutes now. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to watch. Was I bothering you? No, not at all. Thanks. I was just curious what it's like to study for an exam. Why? Um, <laughs> is it alright if I study with you? If it isn't too much trouble, I mean. My data states that elementary school does not feature regular examinations. Is this information inaccurate? No, you're right. We don't really have tests that we need to study a whole week in advance for. Sorry, um, if you're not okay with it, I can just... I'll go get my workbooks now. Next question. 
What is the term used to describe the property of having zero electrical resistance? Oh, I know! Superconductivity! Correct, Amada-san. I just happened to see it on TV. It was an ultimate technique in Featherman. Not that I care about that stuff. Man, you know you care about Featherman. Just let us know. Oh, sorry, Koromaru. I guess I was being a little loud. Let's get back to studying. It appears that Amada-san has entered a state of non-REM sleep. He is in a deep slumber. Sleeping here may cause his body temperature to decline sharply, risking illness. Shall we... Understood. I wonder what kind of dreams Amada-san will have. Let's transport him carefully to prevent waking. I will accompany you on the way to his room. I think it's the homeroom teacher and our class is because um, it looks just like decided to hold this study session for us to concentrate on the upcoming exams. Amada, I invited you to join us so you can focus on your own studies. Your presence is welcome here. Thank you for inviting me. I'll make sure not to be a bother to everyone. To the rest of you, I want you to set a proper example and take your studies seriously. I kind of feel bad for Amada. The only reason he just feels like he's, uh... It feels like a bother to people. It's, it's a word for that. I can't think of it right now. <laughs> Are you going to study with us, Korochan? Good boy. In a nuisance, maybe? He feels as if, like, he feels as if, like, uh, people see him as, like, weak and helpless, even though he's not. Koromaru-san says that he will accompany us here as we study. Well, answers. aren't you a little hard worker? Unlike Junpei over there who can't stop yawning. <sighs> I can't really deny it. Wouldn't mind being in his place right about now. Dogs never have to study for exams like this. Man, what a life. that you understand. Koromaru-san never misses a day patrolling the neighborhood, after all. You hear that? Think you could keep that up every single day? Damn it. The dog wins again. Koromaru-san may not have an obligation to study, 
but he has another important mission. True. He's been protecting that shrine this whole time. That sounds like something far more difficult. Guess if you want to be a dog, you'd better develop some diligence, like Koromaru here. Being a dog is harder than it seems. You'd be better off just studying, Junpei-san. Oh, stop! Don't look at me like some pitiful creature! All right, that's enough chit-chat. Let's concentrate on our studies. begin wrapping things up. Good work, everyone. And Iori, after all the dog talk, I do hope you were able to get through the material you needed to cover. Uh... Woof? Oh, I see. So you're still learning, then? As a dog, I'll need to give you strict behavioral training. It was a joke. I'm totally cool. Being human. No training needed. I'm good. That will conclude the group study session. It is time for a much deserved rest. the cooking. You just eat, and then take care of cleanup afterwards. This time, I want to try Hot Pot. <laughs> hey, don't worry. We've got chicken, onions, carrots, mushrooms, tofu. Hmm, nothing strange here. Just regular ingredients. All right. Why don't you go get a plate and sit tight? I've been so busy lately. I've had to leave most of the boxing team activities to the junior members. But they actually won a team event at a rookie tournament. So, I thought I'd put together this little celebration for them. <laughs> it was just a small tournament that a third year like me couldn't even enter. But still, they really came together as a team to win it. So even though I wasn't much of a captain for them, I'm still proud of their achievement. I gotta say though, Hot Pot is an interesting concept. Every ingredient adds its own flavor, 
and the end result is so great. It'd be nice if C's could mesh just as well with a ragtag group of members. <laughs> I know everyone's wildly different from each other, but if there's anyone who can make it work, it's you. Anyway, when I'm out there on the front lines, I'll make sure I'm in a position to showcase my strengths. Boxing's taught me that once I get into the rhythm of battle, nothing can stop me. That's my fighting style. Don't forget it. It's nice to be able to share a hot pot with someone else like this. Maybe I'll do this with the boxing team too, if I ever get a chance. All right, now how do we finish the broth? Maybe udon? Or rice porridge? Or how about some protein dumplings?
and it becomes this. Time for class. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Well, just because you're not taking a humanities class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey, are you all listening to me? <sighs> What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. bothering you. It's just... Aragaki senpai Oh. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. I'd never seen him in school, but he'd always be hanging around town. And now he's just... gone. It's hard to put it into words. I took it for granted that everyone would always be around nothing would ever change but some things you can never get back I didn't consider how easily it could happen once I realized that I started thinking about my parents I've sort of been avoiding the question but is it okay for me to leave things with them like this parents huh yeah that's a tough one but I think you'll work it out, Fuka. Oriyama, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Would it kill you to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Um, hi everyone. I know I haven't been here that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you after I transfer. Thank you all. How's that? Uh, wait, transfer? What? It's kind of 
wonder why they didn't put the uh, test music up. You're a weird one, you know that? The biggest bitch in school is leaving and you're gonna miss her? You're transferring and you didn't say anything? It's not like it would have made a difference. Why make us both depressed? But yeah, my dad suddenly collapsed. And they say it'll take a while for him to recover because of some complications. We don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay in this area. <sighs> you know, now that I think about it, you're the only one who bothered being friends with a weirdo like me. But like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living with them. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. That's me, Chun. You know, you've really changed, Buka. You're a lot more cheerful now. But why'd you move when your house is like right here? Huh? Well, um. I remember when I was younger, I had a friend that moved in. You didn't find out until like he moved or he moved in. Like, I was just weird. If you don't want to say, that's okay. I'm sure you've got your reasons. I remember the teacher actually told us, like, he moved to Atlanta. We was all sitting in class, like, wait, what? He didn't tell no, none of us that he moved. That was just nuts. But if it's something that you and your parents can work out, then do it while you have a chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart to heart. <laughs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. Well, if you're gonna move, tell your friends. You know, Fuka, I used to think every day was just the same depressing routine. And I'm only saying this because it's you, but you don't really get many second chances in life. Natsuki-chan. <sighs> I guess this is the last time I'll see this view. I won't be in school next week because I'll be packing, so... I guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> Don't you dare come see me off. I want to say goodbye on my own terms. Come on, don't give me that look. But you're leaving so suddenly. Hey, I'm not all broken up about this, just so you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want to do with my life. I know you can do it, Natsuki-chan. <laughs> well, now I really feel like I gotta do it. No pressure, right? No. I got one last thing I want to say before I go. If you just accept the way things are, then you'll never move forward. <sighs> so I hope you can figure out what you want, too. What I want. to try and please everyone just to fit in. I was afraid of not being liked, so I always went along with the people around me. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> That's so you. Well, if they don't like you for who you are, I say screw them. But I like you, Fuka. Even if you hate yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, I better get going. Uh. Huh? Natsuki-chan? Here, even if we're apart, we're still connected. So... We can always talk, right? Thanks for being my friend. I'm kind of tearing up now. Natsuki-chan. Even if we're apart, we're still connected. <laughs> I 
get it now, Natsuki-chan. I'd always assumed my pals were a reflection of my faults. I was always worried about how other people see me, and that's why my powers let me see others. But I guess there is something I want after all. Seeing everyone getting along and working together makes me so happy. So, I want us to treasure this forever. I have the power to connect people, even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift. The friendship I've always wanted. doing here it is unusual to find you up on the rooftop well we didn't see you around so we weren't sure if you were all right I think I figured it out okay I've made up my mind I'm going to do everything I can with the power I've been given this is what I've decided I want to do um, sure? <laughs> Sorry, I guess that was out of nowhere, wasn't it? Uh, you sure you're alright? 